Hey guys, welcome back to my latest tutorial. This is Ivana at Express Prints and I'm so, so happy to see you here. Today, we're going to do a deep dive into these wonderful new features that David announced yesterday. Uh, now, I did a brief tutorial yesterday uh, when, I was, when I recapped the office hours and I also went over some of the features, especially Zoom, custom Zoom. But today, we're really going to get into it and I will show you what these new features mean, why they are important and what they can do for our images. And it's also time for you to meet Emma. <music> Guys, so Emma is my model slash influencer. Uh, it's sort of like a pet project of mine. I haven't done anything with her yet. You know, like it was sort of like I started to be interested in these AI models back in 2023, sort of like towards the end where I saw a couple of tutorials on, you know, like how some of the AI models are doing so well. One of them even gets footballers asking her out. Um, <laughs> so that's quite fascinating. But that model um, also has a lot of videos. So obviously the person who is behind this particular model um, is obviously using face swap apps and things like that. But you know what? There are some good face swap apps. It's just that um, I'm not ready to go that way. Plus, everything costs so much. You know, like if I was to pay for everything, I'd just be bankrupt uh, literally in days. But yeah, it's another exciting development in, a in AI. Um, so basically, I just wanted to see where the wind takes me and how good this AI model can be. So as you can see, I created quite a few of them. Guys, by the way, if you want tutorial on how I created these models, uh, I'm happy to do one. So comment below. Um, and also, if you know of a good microphone for my YouTube videos, I would be really grateful. I, I just can't find one. OK, so I picked this girl uh, because I think she's just so well, I think she's just so beautiful. Now, the thing is that it sort of like gave me, because I wanted to, to focus on her face and the features to be uh, pretty consistent, I, it gave me sort of like images from here to here. So pretty much like passport photos. Uh, and this was in the beginning of V6. So of course, then I was getting, uh, I was getting images literally like from there to there mainly, which of course isn't perfect. If you want to create like a lifestyle Instagram or um you know, like a life of this model or showcase the life um, in different environments, different settings. So there, we didn't have any zoom or pan or anything like that, as we know, but it still sometimes gave me some good images. I mean, the resemblance in some of this is uncanny. It's really amazing. I just want to show you this is very usable. This, yeah. So there's a uh, loads of them that are really, really good. It's just that I wasn't getting the, um, the full body that I wanted, or at least, you know, like part of the body. <laughs> um, so, you know, sometimes I was lucky and got the, like I sort of like to the face. This is very beautiful. So we're going to be pulling this one down. Um, this one we're going to be playing with because it's a really good one. Uh, so guys, I picked some of them uh, for us to sort of like try and see how the pan and zoom feature works. So, this was also quite okay. I mean, it sort of like gave me uh, to her waist. It actually gave me some raunchy pictures and I can only apologize because if you ask for it outright, it doesn't give you, but then Mid Journey does this sneaky thing where it just gives you when you least expect it. So here she looks about 12. So this was, I think we were pulling some down. So I'll show you everything. Uh, and then she's in some of the, like, so she's in a park setting here, then she's in a party. So I think we are doing this one as well, which is very beautiful of her. And I was dying to see what she would look like in a whole body. So we've got that now. Um, and, you know, a couple of other images that I've picked for this girl. Um, so here she's on a, on a horse. So we've done a couple of them as well. And, uh, you know, now she's, <laughs> this was sort of like a setting in a Swiss setting. I like Switzerland. So um, sort of put her in a Swiss setting and uh, so on. So let's just see what we did and how we did it. Going back to yesterday's office hours, let's just sort of like recap what David announced. So the uh, pan, zoom and vario region, this option appear under V6 bot app scales and on the alpha website, but of course we don't have the vario region or custom zoom. So pan now acts more like zoom, which is a very, very good news because I'll be honest with you, I... In, in, in other versions, I wasn't even interested in pan because it was just adding the weirdest things to the image. You know, like you would ask for a 
you know, your original prompt would have a girl and it would just add more girl under it, either her head or her legs. So it just was um, never really understood that feature. But now it promises to be more coherent and uh, that's the actually deliver. So <laughs> that's what this tutorial is about because I was very curious about it. And I thought, yes, this is the time for my model to have a body. Um, so yeah, that's what we are looking at today. We're also going to be comparing because it says pan acts like zoom. So what do zoomed images look like and what do pan images look like? And the big news is as well that, um, you know, pan works with upscale vary remix, but doesn't um, infinitely increase resolution anymore. But it also works in every direction now, which you didn't do before. So let's get into it. Guys, so for this tutorial, I'm actually be uh, showing you the results on my Midjourney Alpha website, but I just want to quickly show you it's actually even easier um, to use this sort of function on Discord. And the reason I'm doing it on here is because my uh, original girl, my original model was created in this version. So I really need to, I, and, and as you know, I can't open it in Discord, so I need to do it here. But just very quickly, you know, you've got all these options here. You even have um, Barry region, which is amazing. And then, you know, you just have these zoom functions and here are your pants, um, <laughs> not pants, pan. Yeah, whichever direction you want to go. And if you're having problem with that, you know, like just go to settings and make sure that you have the um, remix mode enabled. That's all you need to do. And then you can start and, you know, do all that. <laughs> okay, guys, so let's go back to my model. Right, so here we started, um, as you saw from the other images, you know, like sort of, I, I was getting her up to from sort of like from here to here. If I was lucky, I would get her down to her waist. So let's see how the zoom and uh, pan function did. So here we were doing pan. So if I'm doing pan, it's always down because she was always cut off. So uh, here are the first images. So this this, this is still very, um, you know, very like it was before. Now here I'm doing out pain. So that's zoom twice. So let's see how it did. Uh, so what I'm finding with the uh, zoom, it's not in every image, but if I zoom out, uh, rather than sort of like focusing on the lower body, the um, mid journey goes with the top part. So it sort of like fills the top part, probably again, because the original image is like this, yeah. So I think that's the reason, because the girl is sort of like up to here. Um, so that's the zoom out pane. Now here we have some pan features. Now, <laughs> yeah, as I said, it's giving me some raunchy images. Uh, so basically the original one, it was again sort of like up to there and it's sort of like it's giving me some weird things that um, I don't know whether a girl would be wearing that on a holiday here. These are better. I quite like this. Uh, so again, it's given me, I pulled it down with a pan, so I, I added this, but of course, guys, don't forget that you can then, um, it starts to scale that way, doesn't it? So it's now one to two uh, aspect ratio, but if you then pull sideways, it will sort of like even it out. Depends on what you want to have in that image. And I've got some more, so let's have a look at those. So I quite like these. These are quite nice. Um, these are quite usable, even though she's wearing um, twinkle lights. It's quite nice. And then we have, so here again, um, her legs are quite funny, so it didn't really work well. So it doesn't matter because I've got other good images here. These are really good. So I'm panning down. So this is the third time I'm panning her down. So we see more of her legs. I quite like these. These are quite nice. And of course I could just keep on panning down and would get more of her legs. Here I was trying this uh, beautiful Jaguar. Um, so it was like, you can see how what it's been adding, right? So you sort of, this section had been added because I panned to the right. Then we have Emma again. So here she was, uh, <laughs> oh my goodness. Some of these are quite, quite saucy. Um, oh my goodness. So here she's wearing things like this. Um, and then we have going up. So. Again, guys, I was panning down, so it's sort of like this is this is quite a nice image. I quite like that. Um, yeah, this is sort of you can finally see what she's actually wearing. Then this is also a pan, so again, uh, quite raunchy. <laughs> um, yeah, I hope uh, YouTube won't take this video down because it's not my fault. And uh, here as well. I mean, I don't know whether I would want to sort of like present her in this way yeah so I would uh, unfortunately you can't sort of like um, 
specify what you want her to wear with the pan. You can only do that with custom zoom. So I don't want to be kicked out of YouTube. So let's just sort of like skip through these, but they, they, some of them are very nice. So here she's in um, Swiss Alps. You know, I sort of like wanted to create a story um, around her. Like, you know, she has this lifestyle, but um, so I sort of like pan down again. Um, again, guys, you know, so this is outpane. So the outpane, the zoom feature, right? And if I was zooming, um, I would use zoom two. Obviously, there's no custom zoom on Alpha website, but again, as you can see, you know, there's quite a lot of space up here. Again, I think it's because of uh, um, of how she is originally. So, guys, in these cases, I think because the pan is so good now, I would probably just use pan, and that's what I was doing because pan acts like a zoom now. And we have more and more. So here, I was pulling her down a little bit more. Finally, we're starting to see some kind of trousers. Yay! Now here, this is quite a good image. I quite liked it, so I was pulling this one down. Uh, but it's so good to see her body, actually. <laughs> so here she was at the party. So again, I was using pan. Um, so originally she only had, uh, she was cut up to there, I think. And uh, finally, we're starting to see more of her. Now here I use outpane, which is a zoom. So again, we have that big thing, big space uh, over her head, which zoom does. I don't know whether that's a problem, but, um, you know, possibly I would probably be just keep using zoom, uh, pan down, sorry. Now in this one, um, unfortunately, she's not wearing any trousers. Mijani, what are you thinking? Um, but yeah, I mean, <laughs> yes, if you could only specify. So this is outline again, massive, massive um, uh, sort of like space over her head, which isn't bad when it comes, comes to Switzerland because we can see all these mountains, but if it was like, something boring it will be like well what's what's going on so again these are pan down where i was panning her down um you can of course guys go in definitely down and i will show you some amazing creations that other people were doing this is again outpain so this is zoom uh, she was originally very close it, it was a close-up of her on the horse so actually these are quite quite nice and romantic and see the face face is amazing you know like in most of these i'm just so happy with the face now this was, I believe, outpain. So it was uh, the girl originally on her own and it added horsey, which is not a problem, but I probably wouldn't use those. Now here I'm panning her down the party outfit. So here she's a um, little bit wearing, uh, looks like a, like a belly dance costume, doesn't it? Uh, but yeah, finally we can see her a little bit. She's sort of a little bit hunched, but maybe it's a modeling pose, who knows? And here we can see her trousers. How amazing is that? So we can also see her boots so that's really good i love these images and it also added a doggo because she does actually have a doggo originally so it's quite quite amazing that majorly remember that uh, and then some out painting again i don't know about these i probably prefer pan feature for this and then here i have the whole body a very very usable very happy as a doggy yes any of these images can be used which is amazing i finally see emma in her glory, full, full body. So this is how we started. So originally the image was cut sort of like um, above her, uh, sort of below her uh, shoulders, but now I'm panning her down. So here I'm panning her down. Let's have a look. So these are all pan. Yeah, so just changing the dress. It's just, again, so lovely, you know, like because I've been creating her, but I didn't see her body. So of course it's uh, in some images, it's unrealistic. I mean, this is really, really, Beautiful, but so, so skinny, but I don't know. Yeah, but I, I still like it. And then here, um, these were, again, she was sort of like cut to the uh, waist. So now we see the legs. Now shoes are questionable. I mean, here, what is she wearing? Yeah, but this, this is quite usable. So, you know, you, you are guaranteed to find something to use. And then we go up. So these are sort of like similar. Then I'm sort of like panning her down for this. Uh, what is running a park so she's got three legs here so but this is quite usable so i think i panned that down and uh yeah so guys it was all about i, I was sort of like getting better results with panning down rather than uh zooming now her legs are really short in this one um so yeah really excited actually you know like i <laughs> i think there's so much we can do now with these models 
um, and then we go up a little bit. So now we can see her in a dress, which is very... <laughs> oh, she's beautiful. And then we go up. So here she, you know, like some of them are weird ones. So here we were panning again. Um, this one again was, um, you know, like up to here. So now it's sort of like we're starting to see what she actually looks like. So quite a few of them are usable. Yeah, even though it's not a full body, but I could still keep pulling down. Uh, so here we were panning, panning down. So again, quite a few good images. And then here. Um, so this is really good. So I think I panned this down and uh, we will see the results soon. Guys, you know, like when you see, I'll show you in a minute, you know, like the work of the other people, they actually use this zoom out feature where they actually put together like hundreds of images and then create a video. I don't have patience for that, but I show you what they do. And here, sort of, I pan her down again. So here we are also seeing shoes. So it's sort of, I don't know whether it's realistic, what do you think? <laughs> I mean, it is a model and influencer, so who knows? Here we finally see her full body. I only ever saw her up to here, so it's quite amazing to see her. Um, so guys, and the, look at these. I mean, I, I really like these, you know? So now we have a, sort of like a model that we can actually use. Um, you know, like the face is amazing sort of like the uh, the coherence of the face and here she is as well so again we had an image up to her shoulders so again guys I'm just really happy of course guys I'm going to be doing more and more um, investigation but yes yeah, so guys the, the way the pan works it's really sort of like evens it out as well so uh, with the zoom you saw that it would give us like a lot of lot of space above her head but with this one it's actually perfect um, so I'm getting quite a good images in here yeah, some some of them, well, not all of them. <laughs> well, it's not always perfect, is it, with me journey? But yeah, I, I I like where this is going. And then um, the last one is this one. Lastly, you guys, let's admire some other people's works. Uh, there's this wonderful thread, uh, Pan Zoom Vari Showcase, so where people are already sharing what they have created, and they are sort of like sharing these amazing videos. And even you will find a tutorial on how to do this. I think it's in that G GIF cup something like that but let's see what they do now as i said i wouldn't have a patience for this because you need hundreds of images and hundreds of pans and zooms but you know like how amazing okay let's take a look It was like an infinite zoom, wasn't it? Now let's find some more. Um, yeah, so let's have a look. Can you imagine how many times this guy had to <laughs> zoom, zoom out? But how amazing, right? Um, let's see what else. So zoom out video in five minutes. So this is a tutorial on how to actually do a zoom out video like this. Okay, well, let's have a look at this. And what's this? People are really creative. Like the creativity is, um, you know, out of this world, isn't it? It's just amazing. Right, let's see what else. Okay, this one. Are 
incredibly talented. Let's have a look at this one. So guys, you know, there's also, you know, quite a few tutorials on how to create this. If you want to create something similar, let's have a look at this neon skeleton after this. Guys, I'm such a huge fan of these, but there was a bear yesterday that I wanted to show you, but let's take a look at this DJ. That could be interesting. It's just incredible, incredible these zooms. Now, um, I was hoping that I will find out there that was here yesterday. Let me just quickly see if I can find it. So it's definitely worth checking this thread. So I will pop the link underneath this video. So guys, here is also a tutorial on how to do this. Um, this this, this uh, bear quest is actually sharing step-by-step -step tutorial, which is amazing. Again, guys, if you can do this, I really admire you. I admire everyone on this page. I mean, look at this, right? You know, so here, this sort of like this zoom, sort of, it. yeah, just, just amazing. You know, like you just really wonder where this is going, especially with the photography as it is now and uh, just getting better. Um, literally, you can't even tell what is real, what's not anymore. Here is some zoom out things. This is actually pretty good. I don't know why is it in this <laughs> in this thread, but it's pretty good because look at this text. I wonder if Mid Journey reels correctly. Okay, well, we'll write, but it did it right here. I wonder if Mid Journey will write write this correctly. That's actually quite good. Okay, guys. So, oh my goodness. Um, yeah, lots, lots to get through, guys. And um, well, most importantly. Thank you so much for watching. If you love my tutorials, please like and subscribe. It really helps me to grow my channel and keep it going. And please, if you have any feedback on how I can improve on the topics that I talk about or my style, please let me know in the comments. So thank you so much and I'll see you.